Gradebook in Moodle 2.8. The improved grader report scrolls in all directions and works on all platforms with quick editing of cells. A new setup area has an improved categories and items screen with a new natural weighting aggregation method. Single view allows you to edit all the grades of one single student or you can edit one single grade of all students. Grade history allows you easily to view changes made to grades and it's now possible to import grades by copying and pasting from a spreadsheet. Let's start on the Grader Report screen. If we scroll across the grades we can see that the blocks on the left are moved out of our way giving us the full screen to use and the student column remains static as we scroll. We can also scroll up and down which is useful in courses with large numbers of students. The headings at the top remain static as you scroll up and down through the students. A new icon next to each student takes you to the new single view which would give all grades for that particular student. Clicking the same icon next to a grade item would take you to the single view for that grade item. So here we see the grade that all students received for this assignment. And there's also a bulk insert option which would allow you for example to bulk enter zero for students who haven't submitted any work. Let's now look at Grade History. Here we can select one or more users, a grade item, a grader and a set of dates. And we can also choose to view only those grades which have been modified. Clicking Submit will then display this grade history and note that it's also possible to download the data. Moving on to the user report, the layout is clear with a useful calculated weights column and if enabled in the course grade settings there can also be a column showing the contribution to the course total. A new section, Setup, combines preferences, course grade settings and, in a single screen, categories and items. And there's a new aggregation natural weighting. And finally, Import offers us the chance to paste grades from a spreadsheet. The student details and grade details must match what's already in the gradebook. So in this example, we're using username and an assignment title. So we copy, paste, preview, and if everything is correctly mapped, a success message appears and the grades are added. The colour change tells us these grades were added directly to the gradebook and not from the assignment grading screen. 